can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, before I start up this video, if you guys love that intro, make sure to check out Dan down below. He's also a fellow BMW content creator and he hooked it up with this awesome intro. I think that's absolutely insane. Shout out to him, I love it so much. Show him some love, his link is gonna be down below. But without further ado, let's get back into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're actually gonna be starting to work on my brother's car. So we're super hyped. My brother finally got it, uh, uh, like another build. You guys are probably wondering, Nor, what's going on? Why didn't you get the giveaway car? The, I mean, my, the 435 and the 120 is my car. Working on those for me. My brother just picked up his new ride. We're super excited to work on it, bring it back to life. But in the meantime, I'm still looking for the giveaway car. My brother needs a car. He sold his car the other day. Both of my cars, I'm finally getting him running again. So that's good. As soon as I get the 435 back and daily in that car, then I'm gonna go ahead and try to find you guys the giveaway car but without further ado let's get let's get into it let's get into it fyi if you guys want to support the channel the hashtag save bmw decals are down below cop one tag me on instagram i'll make sure to repost it shout out to you guys for all the support recently without further ado let's go ahead and get into my brother's build so for those of you guys who are new to the channel and haven't seen what this car is this is a 328i but it isn't some normal 328i um, this is the first 328 that I've ever owned or the others ever owned that actually has an M Sport package and has all the features. Like le legitimately, literally has the whole body kit of M Sport. The M Sport steering wheel has the honeycomb trim, which is beautiful. Never seen this on any 328 before. CIC nav, DCT paddles, M trimming. Ooh, and these lights are pretty nice, not bad. Rear sunshades, heated seats. But I'm telling you, this thing is full option. I'm telling you guys. Now, if you guys haven't seen it from the rear end, LCI tail lights, rear M Sport bumper. This looks so good. Also, front and rear has PDC sensors. So the front and rear sensors actually are pretty good on this car. The 128, not so good. This car actually works pretty good. And again, the M Sport wheel. So this is a pretty nice spec. I love the black. I love the trim. I think what we should do is go ahead, take apart the front end and give it a nice wash. The goal of today is to pretty much get that hood to open and see what's going on down there. I don't know if you guys know, but this hood won't open. So we're gonna we're gonna have to like do some cutting and uh, fig figure figure it out. You know what I mean? Alright guys, this is where we're sitting. This is everything that we picked off that has some value to it or, you know, has anything at all. Um, and a lot of things are just broken. We we'll just throw it away, but we're keeping the parts to remind ourselves of what we need. Um, so this whole side is taken apart. You guys can see how far the damage got pushed on this side. To be honest, this whole side is perfect. This, um, even this radiator support is pretty good, but it is bent down here and it has a few cracks. This is a clean title, so we're gonna go ahead and replace it all. We want all this like brand new looking. As for this part, guys, let me know down below, should I go ahead and take this down to a frame shop and they can grab it, pull it forward and just fix that up? Or should I go ahead and just cut it off and weld on a new piece? I don't know if that's weldable. You guys let me know down below for those of you guys who are experts in body shop, stuff like that. Sh can I actually get that pulled out at a frame shop? Or should I, I'm not gonna unbolt it. I'm gonna leave this part on because I know once I take that off, it's probably not gonna line up again. So let me know what we should do there. But that is like the only significant part of damage. After removing everything, you guys can clearly see that the crash rail itself is in perfect shape. Thank goodness. That is like the biggest fear point. Um, we couldn't get the hood to pop open, so I wasn't able to check from the top and everything. And you guys can see, it looks really good. So we're not worried about anything here. Uh, the subframe, everything is undamaged. We do need a new set of control arms. This wheel is coming out at a weird angle. So we're gonna need a new tie rod, new control arm. We might as well just order the full set, like the M3. But yeah, for the front, I just can't believe that has everything, all the sensors, all that good stuff. We're just taking apart the headlight at this point and the rest of the stuff on this side. Because once this comes back from the frame shop, we're gonna have to remove the radio support anyway. So we might as well get the work done now. All right, guys, well, the guy's working on that. So, uh, John's working on his 328 as well. <laughs> so, what's going on here? You just replaced the diff? So, the diff was getting too hot and it needed a breather hole. Oh, okay. So there's a hole and a big ass crack in there. So, uh, yeah, he just he tried doing a mod. 
you know, like welded diff and stuff, but he decided to just make a hole in it. And then what happened when he put a hole in it? Speed holes. All the diff came out and... <laughs> he couldn't drive it anymore. It. So, uh, he has a new diff in, and this is the first time you're gonna actually test drive it now? Uh, yeah. Alright, well, hope to God. She's gotta put the wheels on? Yep. Dang, moment of truth. Alright, let's see it. We're getting two 328s fixed up over here. So, yeah, um, the real story is, he hit something on the highway, was like flew on the highway, hit his diff, messed up his diff. So we replaced the diff. This one, um, the whole front end's messed up. So hopefully we can get that one on the road today and we're working on my brothers. It's gonna be so sick. So um, this is how it's looking right now. What I'm really happy about, you guys can see the gap on the fender is really good. So obviously it didn't get buckled too much. We got pretty much everything off the front end removed other than the fender. My brother's gonna go ahead and remove that stuff. Uh, we went ahead, took off the hood, everything that's associated with the hood, we took it off because all that hardware is a lot of money. All that stuff's off. The bumper, everything we took off, including the license uh, plate bolts, mainly because those bolts are the only ones that work on license plates, kind of weird. But we took that. We're not actually taking the front plate mounted because we're not gonna ever put a front plate. Um, we do have tags, so we're gonna go ahead and update the tags on this thing. This thing's already registered in everything, right? Yeah, isn't that kind of crazy? Because it's a clean title, we already registered it today. So uh, we're already getting the pink in the mail. We've already got it registered. Tags are on hand, so we can go ahead and put it on the car. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. He's gonna go ahead and remove the fender, and um, we'll show you guys everything that we have in a second here. As we're looking at the rim right now, dude, this brand new tires. Oh, um, no, nah, it doesn't look bent. Nope, looks pretty good. Honestly, the rim is good, dude. You got lucky, hell yeah. Dude, those tires are brain spanking new. Guys, I love these wheels. The only thing is, whoever they had them previously, um, Plasti dipped them, not the, not the previous owner, the guy before the previous owner, because he said that he was trying to remove it. Um, but yeah, you guys can see it's already starting to come off. We'll go ahead and deal with that another day. That's not the priority. Let's just go ahead and take off this wheel guard as well. Um, and then once we get that off, we'll go ahead and start taking apart this fender. I want to get this fender off. This is where the car is standing right now. So we have the reservoir tank sticking out. The fender, um, to remove it, we're gonna go ahead and have to take off the side skirt. We actually have to head out right now. Um, so unfortunately we can't finish this up today, but all we gotta do next time you come in here to completely disassemble it is remove that side skirt and then remove the fender. The side skirt's perfectly fine, but we have to remove it to remove this fender, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. I don't know why this bolt's down there, but there is. So other than that, I think it made some good progress. We did a pretty good job. Yeah, it's a pretty good job. So you guys can see right here, we're going to remove the fender. This is the extent of the damage right here. So that's not bad. Like to think like that's the only thing that is really uh, like, you know, preventing this whole car from being pieced together perfectly. So um, we're gonna go take it out of the frame shop. We're not gonna do no janky stuff here. Uh, we're gonna take it out of the frame shop, see if they can pull it out perfectly, or at least enough to where we can cut it and weld on a better piece. Um, other than that, yeah, all this stuff's gonna get replaced. Other than that, I think we are we are good to go to call today, my dude. So as far as all these parts, um, we'll go ahead, take what we need, put it in the trunk, and the rest of the things we'll just package it up and throw it away. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, we're just gonna go ahead and just pick out every single piece that's good, and everything that's bad, we'll take a picture and look it up online later tonight and get these parts ordered in. We definitely need a headlight. Those headlights are so expensive, so we'll have to get that as well. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all she wrote. That's all we wrote for today. We got pretty much everything off the car other than the fender, but we'll do that probably probably tomorrow or something like that. So you guys let us know, do you think we should just pull this out and have it like lined up as perfect as possible or have it cut off and rewell this? You guys let me know about that. What do you guys think I should do about that? What did you drop off, yeah? Just dropped off you guys' decals. Hey! If you guys want some more decals, Links in the description below. <laughs> Look at my brother, shout out to him. <laughs> okay, shout out to you guys as well. Heading over to get some parts from my brother's 328. So if we found a pick and pull that legit has like the whole front end. So if we can get all the front end parts other than like the hood, the fender, cause we don't need that stuff. We wanna try to get a paint match. We don't wanna get it in silver and have to paint it. We might as well get it aftermarket, you know, and get some like really nice ones. So if we have to paint, we have to paint. There's no point on, you know, buying those panels. But for the whole rest of the front end, like the radiator support, the hood latch bracket, all that good stuff, we're gonna try to go ahead and get all that stuff today. Will it be a pain? Yes, but I think we can do it. So without further ado, we'll catch you guys when we're actually either at the exhaust shop, uh, the store getting tools, or at pick a pull.
Guys, check it out. So we just found, I think this radio support's perfect, right? Coolant tank Ooh. reservoir. Coolant reservoir tank. Yeah. All right, all right. Look at this. Uh, I wish we actually had a saw to cut this off. But meantime, this radio support looks beautiful. Um, and these bolts, yeah, actually, we can definitely get to them right here. Yeah, we can. We well, get somebody already these. took this apart for us, so I appreciate them. Let's go ahead, get to it. Um, I think this thing's also really, oh dang, why is it like all crooked? Because it's got hit from here. Oh snap. All right guys, we really didn't notice, but um, this is completely destroyed. This is part of the radiator support, so that really does suck. Anyways, on the bright side, we still have the hood latch, uh, the bracket and everything, the expansion tank. I don't know if this is the same on a 328, but I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. What is going on in there, dude? All right guys, some things that we did find, uh, this thing is broken on ours, it's completely destroyed. So we're gonna cut this off and at least reuse the box. We just need the shell. And then uh, other thing is there's a sensor right here, which is the airbag crash sensor. Where is it? It's right in there. I'm sure you guys want to pull it out. There's a sensor right down here. So we're going to pull that out and we're going to go ahead and take this or go ahead and take that. And then we might take this. We'll see how the condition of it is once we actually pull it out. For now, I'm about to head home, edit the video. It is finals week. So I do have to uh, pretty much study all of this weekend. And then next week is my finals. And then after that, grind season boys i'm getting the 435 back you guys i haven't announced the exact mods i put on the fourth I, that i've already ordered for the 435 i ordered suspension and wheels let's just say i didn't go cheap that's all i'm gonna say it's pretty insane and then obviously in a month or something or roughly under a month we pick it up a build to give away to one of you guys so stay tuned again guys if you guys are excited for all this stuff make sure to smash the like button if you guys want to support the channel make sure to ha uh, check out the hashtag save bmw decals down below every single one helps all purchases made through today to monday will be shouted out in the next video so make sure you guys comment Top one, support the channel. I love you guys so much. Without further ado, remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert because I wanna have worth.